Well, good morning to you. Happy Friday, by the way. It's almost 7 o'clock here on the East Coast. I'm Anne Marie Green. Uh, we've said it several times. When it comes to this pandemic, we are not out of the woods yet. Rising COVID-19 cases and the surge of the Delta variant is actually prompting the Biden administration to take a more aggressive approach to get Americans vaccinated. The president outlined his plan yesterday. It includes new mandates and additional incentives for those who haven't gotten their shots yet. So Laura Podesta is following uh, all the details for us from New York. Laura, Mr. Biden says that we're now experiencing what he calls a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Yes, good morning, Anne Marie. The president is now urging state and local governments to give 100 bucks to every person who gets vaccinated moving forward. There's also updated testing guidance to tell you about for vaccinated Americans. Even if you've gotten your shot, if you're experiencing COVID symptoms, the CDC now recommends wearing a mask indoors for 14 days or until receiving a negative test result. The federal government is rolling out new strategies to get more people vaccinated against COVID-19. It's an American blessing that we have vaccines for each and every American. And it's a shame. It's just a, such a shame to squander that blessing. President Biden unveiled a new rule requiring federal workers and contractors to get their shots or face regular testing and other restrictions. The Pentagon announced a similar mandate for members of the military. The president also urged local governments to offer $100 to vaccine holdouts. I know the pain people who get vaccinated it might sound unfair to folks who've gotten vaccinated already. But here's the deal. If incentives help us beat this virus, I believe we should use them. Mr. Biden said the incentives could be paid for with federal pandemic relief money. There are about 100 million unvaccinated people who are eligible to get inoculated. Experts blame the surge in cases on the more contagious Delta variant. The situation is dire. This Delta variant that we're seeing now changes the game from my perspective. According to published reports, the CDC found the Delta variant spreads as easily as chickenpox and appears to make people more sick than the original virus. Did. The agency is expected to publish its research today, along with a call to, quote, acknowledge the war has changed. CDC Director Rochelle Walensky hinted the research to be published today will show that the amount of coronavirus in an infected person's nasal passages is considerably high, even if they're vaccinated. So Anne-Marie breakthrough infections may be more concerning than we thought. That is really scary, Laura. Um, you know, we talk an awful lot about vaccine hesitancy, stopping people 